Calling all superheroes! Look! Up in the sky! It's a bird! It's a plane! No! It's a math art project! When I grew up, I loved reading a lot of comic books about superheroes. And I always was fascinated by the illustrations in those comic books. One thing that I noticed a lot was that the city view was usually the buildings would be really dark and they would have these bright windows all lit up. And then somewhere way out in the distance there would be a signal being sent out saying to a superhero, please come save us! Well friends, how about this? We are going to create our own cityscape with buildings that are all kind of in a dark color and the building lights or the windows will be all lit up nice and bright. But why are we doing this in math? Welcome to Array City. Yep, this is our math art project. And in our project, we are going to create our own comic book sort of town where there's a dark night sky and the, we have these buildings in our cityscape that have a little bit of moonlight cast down onto them. And in our buildings, we will have a series of windows, row after row after row. And we will use this table over here on the left to help us determine how many windows we need in all. So for our first building here, we have a purple building that will have six rows. Here's row one. And there will be four windows in each row. So we will have a total of 24 windows. Okay, let's get started. We will create our next rows of windows for our purple building. I have the gray box here that's representing the frame around the window pane, and I have the window pane in blue. I'm going to place the window pane on top of the gray box, and do you see those red lines? Well, that's telling me that my window pane is lining up, it's getting centered. So I'll move that around. You can see that those red lines are gone, but if I bring it right to the middle, there it is. When the red lines cross, I know that that blue box is now in the center of the gray box. Okay, that's a great window, but it's way too big for my building. So I'm going to reduce the size of this window. I highlighted over both of the boxes and I'm going to, there it is. If you look on the purple building, you'll see some measurements of the window's height from the top to the bottom. And I now know that my window is the same height as these, but it's not the same width. So I need to get it to be the same width. So watch again. Now I'm going to shrink the width until I can see the measurement lines appear. There they are. And now I'm that is informing me that this is one uh, window that's of the same height and width as the other windows. It's important to me that these are all the same. Okay, so I've, I've copied my window. I can see it matches up. Now, I'm not going to put it on there yet. I want to, I just copied. I could also hit Control C and then I'm going to hit Control V. Since I grouped the windows, I know that they are um, going to copy both. What do I mean by that? Well, I'll, I'll tell you what I mean. If I just click the blue and I hit Control C for copy and Control V for paste, well, that's what I get. I get just that window. What's missing? Well, the gray box is missing. I could just do this and bring this over and then now that's gone and I have to put that behind and there it is and then I have to line up that blue box again until I get the the, the red lines but there's a faster way if I use my mouse and I um, highlight over just the parts that I want to have grouped so 
So I want the gray box grouped with the blue box. I have it highlighted over. I'm going to release the mouse. All right, great. Now the whole thing is grouped as one single object and I can hit Control C and Control V and voila, there it is. It is now a, a, a duplicate of what was over here. I want to now watch this. I want to take these windows highlight over all four of them. Notice there, this is now all grouped and I want to Control C for copy and Control V for paste and look at that. I just saved myself some time. Now, as you can imagine, I want these to come right over here. All right, let's see, let's drop it in. Awesome, all right, very cool. I noticed that the, the, the widths aren't exactly the same. I could try to work on that a little bit, but for now, I'm just going to be okay with the, the windows a little bit like this. Yes, they're not exactly lined up, we could work on that, but for the sake of time, I'm just going to move on. So, how many rows did I have? I need six. Well, I just got three. Hmm. What if I hit Control V again? Aha! Alright, and again. Aha! Drag that down. Oh, I just dragged one. Alright. Good time for a Control Z. There it goes. Okay. I'm going to highlight all over all four again. Control C, Control V. There it is. Oh, I made that mistake again. Control Z goes backwards. There we go. Okay, one more time. I am going to group all of these. Just like that. Control C, Control V. This time I'm going to use my arrow keys. Ah, that makes that so much easier. Okay, cool. All right, so now I have my next set. So that's row one, row two, row three, row four, row five. Uh-oh, I need one more row. All right, okay, here we go. Control V, arrow keys. The arrow keys will get nice and easy. Line up those windows. Try to match the same distance between the top of this window to the bottom of that window as it is here. That's pretty close. Now I'm going to highlight over all three rows. What's going to happen? Boom! These three rows of four windows are now all grouped. I'm going to use my control keys to move that entire group over to here. Aha! All right. Very cool. All right. Now I can see that I have my building and my windows. I do notice that my windows are kind of falling off the bottom of the page here. That's something I'll have to come back to and fix. I'll need to maybe make these windows go up a little bit. I can change all the distances later. It will just take some time and effort like clicking on this button and zooming in a little bit, clicking on the selector. I have to be real careful here. I'm, gonna, I'm holding down the control button and I'm clicking on all parts there and now I'm just gonna go like this. Boom, boom. Okay. Oh, uh oh, I lost a couple windows. So you can see sometimes you're just gonna have to keep playing with it until you get it all. I hit, need to hit the control button on all of those parts. There I did it. Now aha. There it goes. Oh okay. So maybe I'm gonna need to get the next ones lifted up a little bit to make more room. It's kind of funny to have windows at the bottom of the building. I don't know. I'll have to make this make more sense for me later. But the good news is I definitely have, as you saw there, I definitely have six rows of windows with four windows in each row for a total of 24. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24. I'll come back and work on it, but it's cool. Oh, geez. Okay. Click on that again. And now, don't forget to click the arrow. Okay. Woo! Good. Now, it's time to make another building. That's right. What's our next building? Ooh, it's red. And, hmm, I don't have the number of rows, and I don't have the number of windows in each row, but I do know that I want to have 12 windows in all. Okay, so I will now come up to my shapes icon here. And click that. 
And I'm gonna go for a rectangular shape of building. This will work out just super. And click on this one. And I'm gonna have that building pretty, pretty close to that one, but I'm gonna make it a really narrow building. It does not need to be the same height as the other building. Not all buildings in the city are all the same. And it defaults to a very pale blue, but we said we want a red. If I click on this red, the building's just red. If I click back on the paint here and I go from solid to gradient, this is kind of cool. And I come over here to custom and I change the angle to 45 degrees. All right, let's see what happens. Let me, let's make sure we have everything set up here. Oh, I need I do need to change this again to the red. Ah, that's cool looking. All right, let's see. Ooh, wow, I like that. Look at that, how it gently changes from dark, dark red, and it, it changes a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit until the red finally, well, washes away. Okay, it's like the light maybe of the moon or a city street lamp is shining brightly on this part of the building. Okay, so more importantly though, we're working on an array and this here needs to have 12 windows. Well, what makes 12? Uh, one times 12 makes 12. So I could I could do this, I can go back to my, my uh, purple building and I'm holding down the control key and I'm very carefully selecting the gray and the blue. A quick control C and a control V. There's an extra window. I'm going to bring it over here so I can work on it before I work on it over here. Okay, I could just do, well, a series of 12 windows. Maybe I could do it like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. But that would be kind of weird. I think another way of doing the um, the array that would create 12 might be 2 times 6. Aha! So, control C, control V. Ah, very good. And now I'm going to bring this back over here so I can work with it a little bit. And I do want to try to get this one back. I'm going to delete this one out, actually. Okay, so I'm going to highlight over this. I like the size. Control C, Control V, my two windows. It's very important that they are lined up. It's an array, so you can only have rows with the same number in each row. So I can't have two windows, and then three windows, and then four windows, then two windows. That would not be an array. An array, again, is an arrangement where the number in each row is the same, and the number in each column is the same. Okay. Back to this. So I have my windows here. And I'm gonna bring them over to my building and double ammo. Let's look. They look a little small for that building. I'm gonna to try to increase the size. There we go, that's kind of neat. Use my arrows to center them in my building. Now I have two. Let's see, I need to have, so I have two windows in each. Control B, Control B, there we go. Very good. Size these. Let's see if we can match the size over here. We'll try. Not no big deal. We'll just fix it later. Well, it's, it's close, right? It's close, but it's not quite what we want. If I hit Control Z, that brings it back to where it was a moment ago. Okay, let's see. And maybe we can just up. Oh, ooh, I'm already moving the building. Trying to move windows. Back over that instead. Okay. Not bad. Um, we would try to make those all the same. I wonder if we could do that. Well, zoom in. Click the selector. Select. 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 And select. So I selected the gray and the blue, and the blue and the gray. Select it all. Control C, Control V. Arrows. Right, I'm pretty centered. The ones I don't like right now are these top ones. I think they're a little too big. So I'm gonna get rid of all those. Control V. 
that brings in the ones that are the new size right here to the center. Control, click, 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 four clicks right there. And let's get that all lined up. Oh, look at that. Okay, finally, it looks like I'm starting to get a building that has rows that have the same number in each row. Control V. There we go. Arrow, arrow, arrow. Control V. Okay. How many more times? Just once. Boom. Okay. Cool. All right. I love it. This time, our windows don't go all the way to the ground. It does kind of still look silly. Maybe what I should do over here is just increase the size of my building. Just like that. And then later, maybe I can add this row of windows to the top instead. Because I do think that looks a little silly. If I want to add a door to the building here, I could do that. It wouldn't be part of the array, but that's okay. The array is about the windows in the buildings. Uh, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Cool. So that means I need to put number six right here. Six rows with two windows in each row is a total of 12 windows in all for the red building. All right, so go ahead and continue to work on this project. You will have um, enough time to get this done. Make sure, oh my goodness, make sure you get your name right here. Your name. Remember, don't write your name, write your name. And if you look at the table, here's what to follow. You're in the next building, it will be dark blue. If you want to use a gradients to make it kind of cool looking, a little more three dimensional, you can do that. And uh, you'll have an orange building. Down here, you're going to have a dark gray building. And then you get to have a free choice building, free choice color. And it will have the total numbers of windows in each row, but you can decide the rest. All right. Well, once you're done with this, let's get it published onto something like Seesaw. That would be great. And you could describe your comic book town. All right. Have some fun.